is Mission Control in Houston. Please call the station. Jaxa, this is Mission Control. Please call the station for a voice check. Station, this is Jaxa BAO. How do you hear me? I read you loud and clear. Yoko Kikoimas. Thank you very much. This is uh, Sasaki, JAXA PAO. Thank you for waiting, everyone. Uh, we'd like to begin the news conference. So, the astronaut Furukawa is going to give us an opening remarks. Dr. Furukawa, please. ご紹介ありがとうございます。本日は皆様お忙しい中、お集まりくださりありがとうございます。Thank you for your introduction, and thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to join this news conference. On February 20th, my cumulative time in space has exceeded, has reached 167 days. Uh, well, it exceeded 167 days. It's now it has reached 178 days. And throughout this period, well, thank you very much for your support. And during this mission, I have been working under the key message of my mission that because there are the answers that can only be found in space. And um, in these microgravity, we can benefit uh, the life on Earth. For example, the cell gravity sensing um, that experiment was conducted. The samples have been brought back to Earth, and I heard that uh, samples are being analyzed. And also, for the new uh, drug development, the protein uh, formation was also investigated. And also, utilizing the microgravity environment, space organogenesis, um, the, after I return to Earth, this experiment is going to start. So I worked to install the automatic solution replacement equipment in collaboration with the ground team. The second pillar of my mission is to use Kibo as a testbed for um, the lunar future lunar exploration technological demonst demonstrations. And I inherited this from Hoshide and Wakata astronauts, that is the water recovery system. Uh, I was able to complete this uh, experiment. I took the samples and I could complete this experiment. And interval two, as for this interval two, the, um, based on the first model of interval two, uh, interval one, and with interval two, we could achieve the technology to automatically uh, dock and release this interval with charging uh, port. I feel that we are making great progress in eliminating workload for astronauts. And we also conducted flare experiment and I installed uh, the experiment equipment and also confirmed functions together with the ground team. The third pillar is to involve and accelerate the participation of the private sector using airlock and robot arm. And the, the, we, I worked on the deployment of nanosatellites um, for the private sector. Throughout my uh, stay in space, we could make a steady progress in advancing experiment using Kibo and also conduct the experiment for the future uh, space explorations. And I have done my work with these um, um, determinations. And I also had an opportunity to 
have communication events with many people from elementary school pupils to adults, and I'm very grateful for that. The Crew 7 consists of members from different countries, and we are an international team. And we bring space food of our countries, share them among ourselves. And um, the last six months has been very memorable experience for me. Going forward, I'd like to make the best use of the um, Kibo module and involve many private sector people and researchers so that we can make contribution to a sustainable society and expand the fears of activities of mankind to Mars, uh, to Moon, Mars, and beyond. And it's quite uh, important for us to make contribution to that purpose. I'm in the, uh, sort of to speak, in the home stretch, and around 2025, Astronaut Yui and astronaut Onishi are now taking training for the mission uh, in 2025, and I'd like to pass the torch to them. And thank you very much, Astronaut Furuka. Now we'd like to proceed to Q&A. Um, we'd like each one of you to ask questions one by one. On behalf of the MEX Press Club, I'm Namatame from Asahip, and I'd like to ask three questions. The first question, well, um, given your age, um, you have suggested that this will probably be your last mission in space. So um, are there any things that you think you'll miss? Um, and also, um, how will you spend the remainder of your stay out in space? Thank you for the question. Yes, um, in terms of uh, missing space, um, I think you're right in saying so. I have grown accustomed to living and working in space, so if possible, I would like to stay longer and continue my work here. Bittersweet moment is an English expression which really describes my feeling, but I'm on a business trip, and therefore I have to focus on doing the remainder of my work. And, and um, the next crew uh, will be coming on the Crew Dragon, and once they arrive, I will be returning to Earth. And at that time, um, I'll switch from a long stay ISS mode to um, a, a dynamic mode Well, I'll be returning to Earth. So um, it will be my first time uh, to land on water, so I'm looking forward to that experience. Next question, the second question. Well, the, uh, in this uh, mission, you conducted experiments and also interacted with Turkey's first astronaut and other crew members. Could you share uh, some of the memorable experience you had with us? Thank you for your question. The Turkey's first astronauts and Axiom space-led uh, commercial uh, spaceflight mission crew, uh, we were able to welcome them, and it was very lively and um, very happy uh, the in event, uh, experience. And well, the on the uh, International Space Station, there are many ex um, equipment and uh, materials. They are uh, verified on Earth, but when they are launched to the International Space Station in microgravity, it's sometimes difficult to fix such uh, things on the uh, International Space Station. For example, when you put something on the desk, it may move on the desk, but it's very stable vertically, but in the microgravity, the things could move vertically even in space. Like a velo, uh, that, that could be fixed by magic tape, but 
some equipment cannot be suitable for using such magic tape. So we have to fix the uh, equipment apparatus very firmly, but it's difficult to fix them. And so, so we run into such difficulties sometimes. But I have a great team mate on the ground. Even if the, we run across problems, the, they grasp more information so we can communicate and report on the problem to the ground team and I can make proposals to the ground staff and we can exchange opinions and views to in solving such problems. So we have been uh, overcoming such difficulties. It has been a very memorable experience for me. And this is my last question. Um, well, as one of your ambitions for this year, you have said uh, that you want to contribute to space business ex using your experience. Are there any space business sectors that you're interested in or any plans you have in mind? Thank you well, thank you very much. Well, um, towards around the New Year period, um, I was connected with the ground uh, where uh, there was an event led by the private sector. I appeared in that program and greeted the Japanese audience. Other than that, um, well, I cannot give you the details, I'm afraid, but um, um, both inside and outside Kibo, um, there have been various missions conducted for private use. And I think um, that more and more private companies are using Kibo. And um, uh, the fact that Japanese companies are trying to engage in space business is very encouraging. Um, as I answered in the previous um, answer, um, in this microgravity environment, things that are different from the ground environment often occur. And in this environment, um, um, trying to achieve the goals that have been set out uh, by the private sector um, is um, something uh, that I am trying to do. And um, if um, possible, I would like to, in the future, from the ground, to support the private sector in trying to make use of this uh, space environment. And I think uh, it's symbolic that a private mission was use the Crew Dragon to come to ISS. And these um, uh, amateur um, private sector um, astronauts um, came to ISS. So I think that uh, this is quite symbolic uh, that space business is succeeding. And with such people, if there is such an opportunity, I must say, uh, that um, I would like to assist in trying to explain how to use your body and to work in outer space and what changes, the physical exchanges uh, people should be look, uh, expecting. My name is Akane Akari, freelance writer. Dr. Furukawa, you said that the astronauts grow taller or become a uh, moon faced. You post such uh, things on uh, the SNS social net, uh, media. So what was the most surprising uh, change about your own body? Tell me why you think that occurred. Thank you for your question. In uh, zero gravity, uh, in uh, the blood or fluid uh, shift to the upper part of your body, the body fluid shift occurs. So during uh, the mission in space, my lower part of uh, uh, body shrunk and the, my waist size has reduced by four to five centimeters and my chest size I thought uh, be, um, increased, but actually the, my chest size has been reduced. And the hypothesis I have for that is that the fluid to the brain increased. And because of that, the, the body made a judgment that there's too much fluid. So in the lower part of my body, the fluid and blood decreased and the body fluid shift occurred. So that's why the size, size of the thigh was reduced and the chest size has increased. 
uh, has reduced, and I lost my wage by three kilometers. That's the same as the last time. That was because of the loss of the fluid and the body fluid and blood. That's my hypothesis. Thank you. And we have run out of time. So once again, Joe, please say a last few words to the audience here. Um, thank you very much for taking time today and um, to the people in Japan. I am, I'm very grateful to the warm support that you're extending to me. Uh, in the last stretch, um, I want to work hard and, and um, Yui, Onishi, Kanai, and also Kaneda, Sua, um, uh, the um, trainees, um, I would like to communicate uh, to them my experience so that they can work hard here. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to the viewers and the press here. And of course, thank you to astronaut Furukawa. With this, we would like to conclude the press event. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you to all the participants. For the station, we will now resume operational space to ground communications.